Hi guys, my name is Dustin, and I'm a police officer with the Grand Junction Police Department. Today, we're going to talk about what it means to be distracted. We'll talk about how being distracted in different situations can affect us and other people around us. Raise your hand if you know what a distraction is. Great! Distractions can be a lot of things, right? Maybe a fly keeps landing on your nose when you're trying to play a video game. Maybe your brother is throwing a ball against your door when you're trying to do your homework. Maybe you're supposed to be practicing the guitar, but you smell bacon. Another way we can be distracted is when we try to do two things at once. Everyone gets distracted sometimes, right? That's just how our brains work. Sometimes grown-ups can be distracted when they're driving a car. We call this distracted driving. You're a long way from being able to drive, but you all ride in cars. So this is a safety issue for you too. It can be scary to think about or talk about a topic like this, but it's important to help everyone be safer when riding in cars. You might be riding in a car and notice that the driver is distracted. Maybe they're talking on their phone or looking at a map or trying to calm your crying baby sister or brother. <coughs> that could make you feel nervous or scared. What do you think you should do? Dad, get off the phone! Yelling probably isn't a great idea, is it? How about telling them how it makes you feel? Telling someone how their behavior makes you feel is a great way to show that you respect the other person, even if you don't like what they're doing. Hey, Dad, it makes me kind of nervous when you're looking at your phone instead of the road. Hey, Dad, it makes me kind of afraid when you're talking on your phone instead of looking at the road. We can get hurt. Every problem has a solution, and kids can be great problem solvers. It's helpful to think through some potential problems before they happen so you know what to do if this situation comes up. Dad, we could just pull over and get my water bottle. It's not like we're in a hurry. Dad, I can answer that for you. Dad, I can text Mom. You have a job, too, even though you're not driving. It's your job to be a good passenger and not distract the driver. What are some things that the passengers might do that would be distracting to the driver? Dad, give me my water bottle. Dad, 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 Dad! He's <laughs> When you're riding in a car, you need to make safe choices. You need to do your best to not distract the driver. We're distracted when we give our attention to something other than what we're doing. Sometimes, being distracted can be dangerous for ourselves and others. Distracted driving is when a driver's attention is on something other than driving. When you're in a car and the driver is distracted, you can tell them how you feel about it. Passengers and vehicles can help make rides safe by not distracting the driver. So are you ready to make the safe passenger pledge? I want everybody to raise their hand and repeat after me. Ready? I promise to do my best. To avoid distracting the driver. To tell the driver how it makes me feel when they don't focus on the road. To talk to my parents about what I learned today. And to be a safe and focused driver when I'm a driver in the future. Great job! Be sure to talk to the drivers in your life about what you learned today. Remember, you're a great problem solver, and you can help others be safe when they're behind the wheel.